so hey everyone welcome again on devish tech channel and in this video we will going to work on the another part the api integration part of the user detail api endpoint which we covered in the last video okay so before i will write any code please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend okay and now let's start writing the code actually whenever we will going to make a api call to the backend from now onwards we need to send the token okay actually we will going to need that token all the times so basically all the time either we have to get back the token using this get token method or let's create a controller of the landing page so whenever the landing page is in a slice we will fetch the token in a local state which means the app state and keep it over there okay also at the same time whenever the app is in a slice let's fetch the user related data because that data anyway we will going to need all the times okay so let's do that first okay for that what we need to do we need to create a controller for it okay so we are going to create a landing page controller okay so in this video first we are going to create the landing page controller so let's create a controller okay and in the controller what we will going to do we will going to landing page oh sorry landing page controller dot dot file and in in this controller so here we need to initialize the getx controller like we did in other videos so let's initialize the class landing i should buy a macbook yaar this controller because the context is between between windows pc to the mac pc is really hectic okay so extends it will be a getx controller and the getx controller should be imported from the get dot dot file now here like in a stateful widget what we have we have the init method right similarly in a getx controller we have the onit method so it's it's basically the same like we have for the uh, stateful widget init method you already know about it and in this init method we will going to call a new method and on that method we will going to first fetch the token okay and uh, we will going to validate is user is logged in or not those stuff we will going to do so let me create a method call check login it will going to be a async type async and await type and now as you know that in the network handler we have already have one method called get token okay so we need to call this thing here so let's uh, assume we got a token and uh, we will use a network handler not this network handler dot get token because that is a static method and basically it's a sync and await type if you can see it is returning a future type of data so we need to have a await first okay now uh, and the next thing will going to be in slice two additional parameter right now i'm going to initialize rx string that will be the main token okay and that can be null okay so this token is a uh, like what scope token or something i'm just ch changing the naming convention scoped token okay this can be null right so suppose if we don't have a token stored in a flutter app then this scope token will going to be the null okay and the next thing will going to be i'm going to create a rx bool you know the rx type is a type for the for this uh, getx fundamental thing because uh, in a getx we normally not use the normal data types we use 
we append rx before the data type so rx string rx bool are a data type for the get x okay and uh, the, the next thing will be logged in so if user is logged in or initially it will be a false because at the same time i wanted to do uh, i wanted to say that initially the user will be not logged in okay so here we are getting an error the bool can't be assigned to variable of type rx bool okay oh uh, dot obs we need to add the obs as well okay so initially user will not logged in then here we will check okay here we will check if we have the scope token so if the scope token is not null which means we already have the token right and if we already have a token okay so it's giving an error bull okay not null if it is not null oh if it is not null which means we have token stored and we did the sign up and registration thing already which means we can initialize the token okay dot value to the scope token okay to the scope token and also we can say easily that the logged in dot value is now true because as we already have the token in i mean in the flutter app then the user should be logged in so now we have a two parameter with help of that we are going to check user is logged in or not also we are going to initialize the token okay now we have this two thing now we need to use it properly okay also we are going to make a network call here okay so here only we will going to fetch the user detail from the back end and store it in a local state itself so whenever in the app throughout the app journey if we need the user related data like what is the name or anything then we can easily use it anywhere okay so for that also we will going to make a network call and for that let's create a new method or else we can do it here itself if we want but for that first we have to go on a network handler as of now you can see that we just have the post method but if you remember the api endpoint which we created that is a gate method so we have to create a static method for the gate method also okay and uh, let's do that first then let's try to use it so it will be static again and as of now it will going to return a future for sure and as of now let's put a dynamic as of now okay i don't know what we will going to return as of now i have to figure it out it will be a gate method okay similarly it will going to be a sync and a wait also what the thing we need for the gate method we just need the endpoint what will be the endpoint in a gate method we do not send anything on a body so we don't need the body parameter over here and now here we can do var response await and the client instance which we already have and dot get so it's http get method if you don't know about the http http get post put method details then you will find a link of the video in the description which will help you why we need get post put and all and here we just need the endpoint so the we have to call the build urls that will append the the host and the port number and we just have to pass the endpoint and it will generate the url and now i actually told you that we need to send the token as well to the back end okay so we need to send the token to the back end and uh, 
that thing we will going to say inside the headers. So here the same thing we have, we have the headers, we have to send it right away. So okay, so it is the header. Let's normally send the to, I mean the header by hard coding it. How we will do it in a middleware, if you know that we are accessing the authorization headers, headers so we have to send the authorization header along with the bearer space and we have to send the token the token which we are getting here okay so actually we can get this token via the call itself so let just just for the simplicity as of now in future maybe i can change the implementation but just for the simplicity as of now let's send the token like this as of now okay now we have at least a gate method and in the gate method we just have to return the response dot body okay so at the time of calling this gate method we will going to pass two things as of now first thing will be the endpoint second thing will going to be token maybe i will come up with a new sort of implementation idea but as of now let's do it and let's call this gate method just after getting the token so here i'm going to call a word response okay response and inside the network handler only okay inside the network handler only i have that gate method in the gate method i have to provide the endpoint what will be the endpoint name the endpoint name will going to be the same the user detail like we did in a postman okay it will be the endpoint and i need to provide the token so we already have the token dot value in a slice so we can send it like this and here actually it is giving okay so let's go in a network handler and put it as a optional because of that we are getting a error okay so let's try to console i mean print the response okay so i'm printing the response what we are getting from the backend so basically we need to call this controller inside our landing page so once we initialize the landing page then only we will call this controller so to call a controller like what we generally do that here itself we create a controller like we did on a login okay in a login bottom seat for the first time initializing a controller we need to use the get dot put and for the second time we need to use the get dot find okay so let's do it same thing on the landing page let's create a controller that will be a war type war landing page controller and we have to use the gate dot put i guess we need to import the gate gate dot dot file then gate dot put and we have to use the landing page controller okay And if I will refresh the app, let's see what will going to happen. Instance of the future dynamic. The print we did on our landing page controller that is saying instance of the future dynamic. Oh, we forgot to add a await here. Whenever we deal with the async type, then we should add await otherwise it will give this kind of thing only so let me do it again i will replace the app again and let's see what we will get from the backend so the from the backend actually we are getting a message invalid token why we are getting that thing okay uh for the sake of the implementation at the last time we made a api call right in a login with the same credential mobile number and password due to that 
the token which we had earlier stored in our front end is now changed okay that's why as of now we don't have a logout thing then i need to just reinstall the app so we will do the logout thing in next coming video but just for the testing it i need to uninstall it and install it again so just bear some minute and uh, i will pause the video till that so now the app is reinstalled and as of now if you i will refresh the app or i will do anything then we will not get any kind of response back because the network call we are doing it's we are doing if we have a token okay so that thing we are handling over here and once user uninstall the app and again install it then at that time we don't have any token token will going to be null okay so to get back a token either we need to register a new user or we need to do the login okay so this thing will automatically take care the login and sign up both so we already have a mobile number 12345 if we will use 12345 then basically right now anything will not going to happen okay so that part the login thing we haven't completed yet so if i will go on a login controller right now we address the scenario of the register thing okay so if i will use 12345 and uh, i will just try to console log the data let me console log i mean print the data sorry i use typescript a lot that's why all the time the console log thing is coming and uh, if i will hit it if i will hit on a continue then you will see that we are getting back the token and we are getting the message call login successful because it's it's a old user okay so that thing we haven't handled but we can handle it here in the else block as of now in the else block what we can do we can use the gate of thing we did on the register controller so in a register controller what we did that after registering after successful registering a user we actually use this gate of okay and we navigated back to the landing page so we can do the same thing if if it will uh, fall under the login thing so i will add it over here so so whenever it will happen okay so the first thing will going to be store the token so in the register controller we store the token first so we need to do that thing so we need to store the token as well okay so that thing we forgot to handle on our login controller so first it will store the token okay the token which we are getting okay the same way we access the token from the response same thing i did over here it will first store the token and then it will get off from the login bottom seat to the landing page so if i will do now login okay then we should go on the landing page so now we got on a landing page okay which mean if i will refresh the app again then you will find the network call in the landing page is happened okay so the network call in the landing page controller is happen but again we are getting a status false and invalid token either we are sending a invalid value to the back end we can check it now so it's 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 uh, uh, easy to check it okay and uh, it's a bit it's uh, it's it's a kind of uh, learning also it's a kind of learning that we are debugging here and how we will debug it we can just console log the token which we are getting so the token which we are getting here i wanted to console log that we are getting a proper token or not so if i will refresh the app again and go back in a back end then it will hit the end point okay so the token bearer which we are getting it's it's a null as of now okay so because of that actually it is saying the invalid token so if i will go on a network handler let's go on a network handler 
and see we are able to send the token properly or not so we are sending it on authorization if i will go on the postman we send it in authorization header only so if i will go on header if i forgot how to send so this is the authorization header which we use let's try to put it over here if i am doing any kind of mistake okay and uh, let's try to refresh the app so again invalid token and here we are getting the null okay what can happen i mean oh we are getting the bearer but the token which we are getting it is kind of null over here okay so we are not able to send a token properly okay so the token which we are using over here that is kind of null as of now yeah that should be null that should shouldn't be null so if i will use the scope token because it's a state management thing a state and uh, let me just check it it is working fine or not okay now it's working i guess the problem is like that the token dot value is not updating immediately okay so we are trying to update it okay but it is not updating immediately because it's kind of setting a state only and that not happen immediately but this code is not waiting to update the token dot value and that token dot value will reflect in a next render okay so if i will print the token dot value here to check that it's it is updated or not in a initial time see this this thing happened at the time of state management this 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 is a natural thing that sometime you will not get a proper result yeah so you can see that initially it was a null okay that's why it is uh, the the thing we we are sending was the null that's why we we are getting the error but now we are getting the actual result and we will use this thing this token don't worry we will solve this problem when we will actually use this state token in other api call don't worry we will do that thing but as of now the the fix is done now we are able to get the proper result the proper value from the backend but there is one thing that we need to store this value okay in a proper format as of now the format we have is a, a json string format okay and i already told you that whenever we will deal with the gate api and we will get the complex json data from the back end at that time we will going to create a model class okay and let's create a model class first for this thing okay and store it in a local state and that thing we will going to do in the next video but before that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friends